Hey guys, welcome back to another video tutorial. In this video, we're going to discuss all about how we can create a image slider using HTML, CSS, and also JavaScript. I have used pure JavaScript code to use the images to display the slider inside our web page. As you can see, behind the slider have an image. This is body image. The body image also changed, and you can change it with the help of one click, and also it is change automatically after five seconds after five or seven seconds i think so let's do the how we can create that i'm gonna close it and i'm gonna open my code editor i have an index.html style.css script.js and also i have a four images right so let's do that so write the class slide container inside that i'm gonna use slide times by four on each slide I will display the style but I will I'll remove that because I will use manually style on the background image I will add the background image manually or inline and URL URL image and image one right so this is our first one and I'm get that second we just need to change second third and fourth yeah after that I will inside the container div I will display the button so I'm gonna use button class arrow left arrow and also I will assign the ID as well <laughs> but I also use the font of this semicolon inside there so in class FA as FA arrow left get that and this will arrow right and this ID is right and arrow this is a right arrow right so this is our HTML page so I'm gonna live it on my browser right now I am able to see two buttons but I can't see the image right because I don't uh, assign anything else inside the uh, container if I assign anything else as you can see behind the text have an image but I will leave that I will manage it using CSS so I need to open my CSS in the CSS so you need to select the body and the body I need to use the display of flex align item center justify on center and I will assign the height 100 VH and I will use overflow hidden and I'm going to use background position center and center background color Just another background color, that size color, and also I will add the background image to display the image. We're gonna work on that to uh, make a slider. Then I will remove it, right? So that's background image. Here I'll, I'm gonna use same thing. So first we're gonna save it and uh, let's look at that, right? I'm able to see the image has been appeared and yeah, I need to save this file but I need to remove this one. Right, and my content is up here inside the center of the image, right? So let's work on the image. So I'm gonna select my body to display the overlay effect I'm gonna select before and I'm going to use count and none position is absolute top zero left zero and hide 100 vh with width 100 person and I'm going to use background uh, color RGB uh, 000, 000, 0 0.7 is the first city that's we're going to save it and let's look at that 
right and also we need to use ZLX property to assign the negative value because I want to display the content right now perfect then we need to select my container slider like this one so I need to get that and there I need to add the box shadow because I will display the dummy content I'll give you like this one but this is 0 0.16 and also I'll use another uh, background RGB but, uh, but also I need to add box shadow 0 3 pixel and 6 pixel RGB and this will 23 so uh, just a minute box shadow 0 6 uh, yeah perfect but we need to assign that height 70 vh with uh, 70 vw so and i think it should be display no i can't see right now okay i need to use position relative and our fellow is hidden and also i'm gonna this water three pixel solid ddd right now as you can see guys perfect uh, yeah, and also I will use the border radius as well. Five pixels. Uh, look at that. Let's move on the next one, and the next one has slide. In the slide, I will use the opacity. In the starting time, I'm going to add the zero when this will active, and then display the opacity one. So I'm going to use that. I add 100 vh. Uh, with 100 VW vertical height vertical width and I'm going to use background position center center uh, background size cover and I'm going to use position is absolute top negative 50 VH and left also negative uh, 15 VW so yeah, let's begin to set it and look at that. Right now you can't see any changes inside there, but I have uh, in a minute I will change the image, then you will able to see everything clearly. But I will leave the work on that and also I will assign the Z index uh, negative one inside there. I need to assign the Z index one because this will work on the opacity zero when i will active the class so let's do that i'm gonna add the active class on there like this one this is a menu that i have activated the class but i select it and i'm gonna use active and i'm gonna use opacity one then i think it should be displayed the content right now as you can see right but i will use that inside of our js to display the active class perfect so yeah um, and let's work on the arrows so arrow position i'm going to use fixed and background i will do ddd D, D, uh, color is dark color and padding i will use 25 because are all side and i'm going to use top 50 percent and transform translate y means uh y means top and bottom negative 50 percent and i'm going to use cursor pointer water radius also i will use 55 pixel 5 percent arrow r i'm sorry 1.5 and and also i'm going to use arrow focus uh, arrow focus focus i'm going to use outline none this will left arrow and i'm going to use the left calc function inside it i'm going to use uh, 50 v w negative by 60 pixel all right and i'm going to get it and this will be okay i need to make a space and this will right arrow and I'm going to use same thing so first we're going to save it let's look at that I'm able to see arrows has appeared but I think 
in a minute i need to check that where is the problem right now guys so i need to go on this uh, um, arrow left arrow right arrow and i'm able to see the right arrow like this one but i can't see another arrow inside a web page so in a minute i need to check that arrow arrow focus arrow uh, left arrow right arrow and left okay okay so that i need to use right perfect cool so yeah i think i need to add the z index property to move it on okay i use that I think this will perfect right before working on the javascript i'm gonna add the transitions on my body because i will uh, display that as a transition best all 0.5 sn out and also i will but this time i'm gonna leave that go to the js in the js we need to get the data so First, we need to select the body and I'm going to select the document or body because I will select the body in the body have a background color so I need to select the const sliders uh, document dot q to select all because I need to select all of the slides like those slides slide 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 like this one so I need to select that because I need to use that to change the active class one to another left btn i'm gonna kill the selector and this will be okay I this will be have id document get element by id left and this will right and also btn have a right perfect so so the default uh our slide index number is zero so i need to create a variable let and i'm going to use active slide and assign the zero because i will use this one to change the slides to change the slide with the help of active slide but before working on the active slide i'm going to create a functions so the function is set body background set body set I'm gonna select the body dot uh, background this is a background image this is a style that I have used that to assign it with the help of slider so I'm gonna select the sliders this one variable this will give us the array so inside the array i'm going to passing the active slide variable like this one the default have a zero index zero index means one slide and i'm going to use style dot dot background image like that so this is our first one function the second function we need to get that and paste it and the second function we need to create it as a set actor slide so the default i need to select this sliders and that active slide slider but we need to use active slide inside the array because we need to get the data from sliders as an array wise so we need to select the array in the array i need to select the active slide index number is your default right so class list dot add and we need to add the active class right but also we need to remove the class from when it will execute then i need to remove that uh, class and then i will add that so what i need to do on there i need to use the for each loop so i need to select the slider this will have a uh, four slides so i need like for each and I'm gonna use slide slides. 
So I need to slides dot classless dot and that's it. Which class you will remove? Active class. But I need to use that inside. That's it. Those are functions that are help us to display and yeah, hide the image. So we need to get the function based on the first we're gonna save it. Uh -huh. Everything is perfect, but I need to come it out and let's check it now. What happened? Okay. I'm able to see the images up here, but I can't see the background image. So yeah, I need to also uh, use this one slide when I will click on it, but I will try to paste it. Then I think it should be displayed. No. Mm, okay, as a mistake guys. Body dot style dot background. I think it should be displayed the background. Right now I'm able to see the background image has been appeared inside there. When I will change the slide like one, then it will give us the second one slide, right? And yeah, the active class is uh, activated inside there. No, first of all, we also need to remove that. Right now as you can see, but I'm able to see this is empty box, but we need to work on that when I will add the second one. So, and right now as you can see, right? So I'm gonna leave the active class in the first one because, okay, so there is, okay. Right? So I need to go on JS. So we need to add the event just now when user will click on the left and right button then do something it means I will move the image with next one and I will um, display the previous image when user will click on the previous button so let's do that. So first of all I'm going to select my BT and white and I'm going to use add and let's now click event run the function. Inside there we need to increment the value when user will click on the button so I need to select the active slide plus plus right after that I need to use the if we need to use the slides active slide greater than sliders this one dot length and then I need to use negative one in the else in the F body I need to select the active slide the value is default zero so Right. and also we need to set this one function and also this one function calling those functions inside there so let's uh, check it now what happened I click on that I'm able to see an image third one image fourth one image I'm able to see everything is changed perfectly right so I'm gonna get that and paste it so in the left button I need to get that uh, this is the light button and the left button I need to paste it and inside there we need to decrement the value from the uh, active slide but also we need to change the few things inside there I need to use active slide less than zero then I need to select the active slide active slide equal to sliders dot length dot length length uh, negative one value so this is our left button so let's do the right now as you can see perfect so our uh, slider is ready now but you can uh, use the functions to do something means i want to add the slider when uh, the five second or uh, seven second uh, after five or seven second I want to move the slides or uh, next and please you can do this so let's uh, do this so I'm gonna create a function mm. function next slide so inside that I need to uh, get the next slide code like this one and paste on there need to copy it and paste on it right so this is our next slide code it's working perfectly why and also we need to get same thing like this one and this will this slide and we need to get that and 
Oh, where is the left button right now? So I need to pass that. So let's click on that. Right? Perfect. So what I need to do on there, I need to add the function set interval. Inside there, I need to add the time period uh, such as 1000 minutes, one second. So inside there, I need to pass the functions, three functions like this one. So this will uh, execute to display the next slide. This will execute to change the slide uh, inside the background, and this will assign the active or deactive class inside our slide. So now, and let's, let's look at that. All right, but I will increment the number of seconds. After seven seconds, it will move. Right. So let's add the transition. Finally, I will add the transition that I move perfectly. Uh, yeah. So select the slide. So in the slide, I need to add. Um, yeah, I will use the slide transform. Translate X means left and right. Negative 20 per head. So we're gonna save it and let's look at that. Click on that, right? But when the active class is used, so I'm gonna get that and paste on there, and we need to use here. So uh, let's look at that. But I think I need to check that what. Uh, I also use the transition as well inside there inside transition uh, one second SN so I think yeah it's perfect right now guys as you can see so this is all about this slider so you can use it as you can see but I will uh, use two seconds at best and three seconds to last. No, I will use the one second as best. Right? So this is all about a mail slider. I hope you understood as well all about how you can create that. Thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day.